Behind the Woodside Firehouse, firefighters and a few other Stanford residents watched as the Mill River received a few hundred new residents on Friday afternoon. Nearly 400 alwai fish were placed into the river to attract back all of the native species that once roamed the area. They're releasing a bunch of fish into the river and we've been working really hard um, to kind of clean up this river and restore it. So it's really exciting because hopefully they'll stick this time and this will be a good thing for the river. So we're, uh, we're going to be stocking pre-spawn adult alewives into the stream here as part of a restoration effort. Uh, we actually have a donor stream in eastern Connecticut in which these fish come from. They're actually coming from the ocean daily. So we have the ability to trap them, take them to sites like this in which we have restoration efforts on. Uh, the idea being that if we put them in as adults that haven't spawned yet, they'll spawn in this stream. And then as, as they leave, the juveniles will actually imprint back to this system. And so theoretically, in, in, it's a four year cycle, and, and theoretically in four years, we should see some of these fish returning to the system. The fish are also low on the food chain, so they should attract other species that will feed on them and others that will feed on those predators. Just about everything takes advantage of them. So in, in, in their freshwater habitats, things like osprey, that's sort of a number one uh, prey, uh, predator. Uh, osprey, then you have the resident fish that, that'll eat the juveniles while they're in here before they leave. We, they took down the dam last year and they've been trying to kind of just bring the, just having the native species in the river I think will help with the rest of just the native species coming back and kind of just clean up the river and build it up and make people want to come and enjoy it. The DEP brought the fish to the river free of charge as a part of their partnership with the Mill River Collaborative.